All right, for those of you that never that never knew, let's say you got a ridge ream on your cylinder, on on a cylinder, irrelevant what it is. You got to get her going, right? Especially if you're just going to pull the piston. You know what I mean? This one was really bad. It had some. I can see what the problem was. It's got a hair bit out around. I don't know on tape or ain't gonna fart with it none. But uh, what you can do is take a putty scraper and work the edge super slow. It's what they used to do on the old farm all tractors. That and I got some 120 grit sandpaper. Right? You'll say, oh my god, that scratches the cylinder. Well, the ring don't go past the ridge. Uh, putting the new rings in, they might go a little bit past the ridge, but the deal is, you gotta make sure the lands, lands are clean, the piston lands. And yes, you can, I don't care what they say, when you got to, just bust a ring and clean the, clean the groove with the ring. It'll work. And anyway, uh, <clears throat> takes a long time to do it, but you can, uh, well, about 30 minutes, start to finish. Bust off the carbon around the ridge, and then work the, uh, work the ridge down with some sandpaper. All right. Now, I stopped at a certain point. I really didn't care. You know what I mean? It can have just a hair bit of a ridge, and I ain't gonna worry about it. Because this is a 12 and a half horse motor. So, ooh, well, leaves don't go in there imagine that so anyway this motor was good except it was uh, bypassing uh, the ring air uh, the head was pretty funky this motor ain't been run a long, long time valves were in bad shape uh, still had it was passing half the intake it was that bad you could tell anyway that's it for now